Hello and welcome to a new view of the exciting presentation program Simplex Numerica. Today, the main focus of interest lies in building and animating digital dashboards in Simplex Numerica. Our focus has always been on building dashboards that help manage businesses' mimics and overviews. The definition of a dashboard isn't pretty graphics. Dashboards are an easy-to-digest view of an organization's key performance indicators KPI, that lets viewers spot decisions and act on opportunities quickly. So, while we like to look good, a dashboard that fails to communicate key messages in your business data is a waste of time, money and effort. With Simplex Numerica it's really easy to place charts and shapes on a layered page. We will try to build a selection of dashboards with overview and detailed views so that you can quickly review this and then look deeper only if you wish. If you create an overview, make sure you have everything that a manager needs to know to make decisions on this dashboard. If a crucial metric is only in a detailed view, it is likely to be overlooked. Here I will show how this sample dashboard was built by the developer. Please follow my steps. Important to see is that the page was built in three layers. For that, please have a look at the layer window. I'm going to remove some components and will exchange some meters and charts now. Please have a look. Next, we want to exchange some charts against others from the thumbnail window. Please have a look how it works.
Now please load the dashboard from the beginning again. At the beginning of this presentation, a dashboard was running animated. How is that possible? We can use a script for this. I will use here a sample script from the default folder named Scripting. Use that sample script and modify it if you like. Please follow my impressions. As you can see, each chart has a unique name. This name can be used in the code as a reference to its own object. We will use that object for doing things with the chart. We will show how to manipulate its data. Follow the steps in the code, 1. Load the evaluation, then 2. Get each chart object, then 3. Get the text shape object, then 4. Loop through all charts and manipulate the Y data of the first and only graph of each chart. We will use random values for this. Later in this presentation, we will use data queried from a database. OK, compile it and let it run. As promised before, now we want to show very shortly the data import from a database into one chart of our dashboard. We will follow the inbuilt wizard. Please concentrate a few minutes. If you would like to use a script for the database import, then you can use a sample script from the folder scripting that shows you how you can proceed in that way. I'm going to do that here, now. Please follow my steps again.
OK, compile it and let it run. Let's do the same with the other dashboard. We will load again another sample script for that. The procedure is absolutely the same. Please follow the last time for today. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a happy day. See you next time. Father, send out prayers until their sons return. Mothers pose the question, when will we ever learn? There's no sense in crossing weapons, marching out to war. All orders overridden. This mission is no more.